So welcome to day 18 of our HackerRank 30 days coding challenge. I'm Kainz on the Tech Pro. And today we are going to be talking about queues and stacks. The instruction says write the following declarations and Im implementations, two instant variables, one for your stack and one for your queue. Avoid push character methods that pushes a character onto a stack. Then we have NQ character, pop character, the queue character. Okay, so basically all of this is saying that we are writing a class and this class will handle queues and stacks. This class is going to have a method to add item to a queue, to remove item to, to add item to, to a stack, to add item to a queue, to remove item from a stack, and to remove item from a queue. Now, different programming languages implemented in different way, but it's interesting to see how it works in Python. So let's try this in Python at this time. Now, to implement queues and stack in Python, we can just use normal lists. So I'm going to say queue is equal to just a list like this and stack is equal to a list as well. Now, in case of stack, we can simply use append and pop. But in case of queue, we use append and pop with the index of the element to pop. And that index has to be zero for you to remove from the beginning of the queue. So let's implement it and let's see how it goes. So the first method we are going to write is push character. So I'm going to say push character. Character in Python, you have to use the self keyword and then we need to specify the character we want to add to the stack. So in the first case, we are talking about a stack. I will simply say stack. So we have to say self.stack.append because these are instance of uh, these are instant variables at this time. Self.stack.append and simply specify what you want to append. The next method we are going to write is nq character. So in this case, we want to add a character to our stack. So I'm going to say def nq character and it's going to be self and the same character as well. And in this case, in this case, we now also say self dot self of q dot append and specify the character. So in this case, everything is about the same with push character to a stack and NQ character onto a queue. Let's now do the same thing. In this case, we now want to pop character from the stack. So I'm gonna write the function or the method for pop character and specify self and specify now we don't specify anything because we simply allow the stack to just remove the last item added to the stack. So, and after we remove it, we are going to return it. So I'm going to say car is equal to the self dot stack dot pop. So it's as simple as this. So in this case, we've done for the stack. Now pay attention to how I'm going to do it for the queue. So in this case, I'm going to write for the queue, the queue character. So I'm going to say the queue character. And again, we don't need, we have only this self. Okay, and then, uh, sorry. So I need to use DEF keyword here, DEF, all right. So in this case now, we are going to also say car is equal to, okay, remember we are going to return whatever we remove, so I'm going to say return car. Okay, perfect. So in this case, we have car is equal to self dot q dot, um, this time, yeah. So I'm going to say pop, but in this case, now we need to specify the index and the index for a stack has to be the very first item that was added and it's going to be position zero right here. 
So that's the difference. In case of star, you don't specify an index, but in case of Q, you specify an index and simply return whatever came from the pop operation. So let's see how it works and let's see if it actually works because we've done a lot of coding. So let's now see exactly the results of our code. Let's see. So the first two test cases passed. Okay, so the method is okay. And I'm going to click on submit code and let's see. And everything worked, all the seven test cases passed. So I'm going to stop here. I'd like to thank you for being, for being there. If you come all this way to, to, to 18, because this is, we just finished day 18. Thumbs up to you. Thank you for being there. I also want to remind you to subscribe to my channel and also feel free to leave me a comment if this has been informative for you. Like and share if that makes sense to you. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.